Hi, grade nines, it's Ms. Thangaraj here, and today we're gonna to make our last video in the series, Simplifying and Solving. And so we're gonna to put together everything we've learned so far, and we're gonna do questions that require us to collect like terms, to um, simplify the brackets, put everything together, and then solve for X. So don't forget, you need to get a pencil, a piece of paper, so you can do the math with me. You just sitting there and watching is not gonna do you as well as if you're actually doing the math along with me. So pause the video now, get yourself a paper and pencil, and then come back. We're gonna start with the question that was actually um, on the first screen of the YouTube video. Um, four bracket x plus six bracket plus five bracket x plus six bracket is equal to 81. So here you see we've got multiple x's, many x's, we'll have to put them together and collect like terms. Um, and we're also going to have to multiply into the bracket. So let's do that right now. Just like we did yesterday, let's first simplify and forget about solving. That means let's cover up the 81 and let's just worry about simplifying first. So remember simplifying means eliminate the brackets and simplify also means make it shorter. So put together the things that belong together. So let's first get rid of the brackets. Okay, so when I have a four on the outside of this bracket, it means I need to multiply everything inside by four. So I have four times x, that means I would have four x's. And four times six, that means I have 24, but don't forget, the calculator just says 24, but it means plus 24. And then I have plus five times x, and plus five times six. So I need to multiply both of these things by five. So five times x gives me plus five x. 5 times 6 gives me 30, and now I can worry about collecting the like terms. I can't solve the equation, I can't find the answer for x until I have um, combined like terms and simplified. So I want to put this 4x together with this plus 5x, so that means I have 9x's, and I want to put this plus 24 together with this plus 30, which means I have plus 54 is equal to 81. So remember right from the beginning of solving, it means I've taken this X, I've multiplied it by nine, I added 54 and I got 81. I want to undo those things. So I want to get back to what the X was at the beginning. So first thing I'm gonna do is subtract 54. These cancel out. And I believe when you do 81 minus 54, you get 27. Um, and then on this side, you just have 9x, okay? And then we want to divide both sides by nine. And here we have x is equal to three. So that should work if we check. Um, if we were to um, make a table of values, um, let's use this part here, which I simplified to. Um, let's put, um, it starts at 54. That's my initial value, it's jumping by nine each time. So if I go um, to one, 54 plus nine is 63. 63 plus nine is 72. 72 plus nine is 81. So yes, when X is equal to three, my Y is equal to 81. So I have not made a mistake. Um, another way you can check it is we should can start with the original equation x plus 6, 5x plus 6, and we can put our answer for x into the equation. We know that x should be equal to 3. So I'm going to cross this off, put a 3 here, cross this off, put a 3 here. 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. So what I want to do between these two, I'm multiplying. So I want to go 4 times 9 plus 5 times 9. I want to do that with my calculator. And I've done it in my head. Um, if you use a calculator, you get the same thing. You get 81. So yes, I've got the right answer. Here's our next question. It's more difficult than the first one because there are brackets. 
you have to collect like terms and there's negatives and negatives sometimes causes a bit of confusion. So we'll do this together slowly and we'll figure it out together. So here's my question. So let's start together. Uh, I'm gonna get a different color marker. Um, what I want to do is I want to multiply both of these two things by negative four. And then I want to multiply both of these parts by plus five. And then I'll worry about solving later on. So I have negative four times two X gives me negative eight X. Now, this negative four is not being multiplied by three, it's negative four times negative three. So if you do that with your calculator, if you multiply two negatives, your calculator would just give you 12 but that means it's a plus 12. So don't forget to put the plus 12 down. Then we have five times three X, which would give us 15 X. And then we have five times two, which would give me 10 equals 97. Now, someone asked me yesterday a great question. They said, Miss, when you put these two together, why doesn't it give you X squared? Now, let me just show you that. If I have 15 X's here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I want to take away eight of the X's. If I take away eight of the X's, let's make sure I made 15 to begin with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If I take away eight of them, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What am I left with? I'm still left with just X's. I'm just left with seven X's. They don't change into squares. The only way you can change into a square is if you're multiplying X times X, and then you'd have X squared. But when you're just collecting like terms and combining, um, you're never gonna get a square from two X's. Okay, so here we've said 15 X minus eight X gives me seven X's. 12 plus 10 gives me 22 is equal to 97. Now we can just do simple algebra. These cancel out. 97 minus 22 gives you 75, I believe, 7x. Did I make a silly mistake here? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Okay, so this is a question I came up with, but it's not going to give you a nice answer. I don't believe it's going to give you a nice answer. 75 divided by seven. I believe that that's going to be a decimal. So sometimes you get decimals. Um, so that is your answer for that question. Now, I'm surprised they made a question with a decimal, but I must have. Unless you're out there and you see a mistake that I've made in this video, please let me know. I love when you catch me up and you find that I've made a mistake. If I've made a mistake, please let me know. Okay, so the math teacher and me took over. I couldn't go on in my video until I checked to make sure my decimal answer was correct. So I took 75 divided by seven um, and I got 10.714 and I wanted to check that. So what I did was I wrote down the original equation and I'm gonna put the X is equal to 10.714 into that equation. Um, so I did that and I got two times 10.714 minus three is equal to 18.428. I got three times 10.714 plus two is equal to 34.142. And then when I multiplied negative four times 18.428, plus five times 34.142, I got 96.669, which is basically 97. So phew, we did not make a mistake. I realize that our video today is already getting long, but I want to do one more question with you so that you've seen all the different sorts of examples you might run into when you're solving equations and you need to collect like terms and you need to multiply into the brackets. So let's try this last question together and then I'll leave you with some homework. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna deal with the brackets. So let's just look at the part on the left-hand side with the brackets. And that part is right over here. 
So let's ignore the minus four at the beginning. Let's ignore the minus six X, the equals 24. Let's just worry about this part. When you have brackets, that's what you always want to do first. So you need to realize that in front of the bracket, it's not just two, it's minus two. So that means I need to multiply the X by minus two and I need to multiply the six by minus two. So I have minus two times X gives me minus two X. I have minus two times six gives me minus 12. Okay, so I have simplified this part here. Now what I need to do is I need to add the other parts of the equation. So I need to take this minus four and write it right here. I need to take this minus six X and write it here and then the 24. So when you have brackets, do the brackets first and then add the other parts. Okay, so now we're going to combine like terms. I'm going to circle. I'm going to circle the parts with X's. Don't forget to circle the negative here that goes in front. I'm going to circle this six X, but it has a negative. So I need to, on my calculator, do this calculation. The one in the middle, this means subtract. It means this button on your calculator. The one at the front, means negative. So I need to go negative two, subtract six, which would give me, oh, yes, negative eight X. Okay, now I need to put together the negative four and the negative 12. So again, I have negative four. This one means subtract, because it's in the middle. This one's at the front, so it's negative. So negative four, subtract 12, would give you negative 16. Okay, and then we just have algebra. So instead of subtracting 16, I want to add 16. And that's going to give me 40. And then here I have minus eight X. And so I need to lastly divide by minus eight, divide by minus eight, and x would be equal to minus five. And just like we did before, you could take the time now and put the minus five here, put the minus five there, and check to make sure that you actually do get 24. And now it's time for your homework. I appreciate that so many of you are sending me your homework every day and I'm checking it. I know some of you are also doing your homework at home and not sending it to me. That's fine. You can send it to me later when you've completed it all. Um, but yesterday I got some beautiful homework from a couple of you. I gave you the task of doing something fun with your family. So a few of you did some drawings together as a family and this picture is fantastic. And I'm glad that you're having um, a good time drawing pictures with your family yesterday. Here is a picture of my daughters. They're cooking me a meal. So my, my challenge for today is for you to cook something for your family. There's Ellie and Rachel, you can't really see them, but they are cooking our family a meal. So that's your challenge today. As well, your challenge is to try these last three algebra questions. You're gonna try them, you're going to add them to your assignment number three, you're gonna submit them to me, and then you're done. Um, please leave a comment in YouTube. It really does help me know who's watching, who isn't watching. It lets me know whether you liked the video or didn't like the video, and it just kind of brightens my day. Um, I hope you have a great long weekend, and I will talk to you next week.